I make videos of motorcycle rides and I often combine cameras from different motorcycles to create the videos. These cameras are often not color balanced and I use the sub editor in the multi camera edit to create a quick and easy color balance method. First I will step you through the basic uh, multi-camera editing and then show you how to get into the sub-editor to finish up. In order to start a multi-camera edit session you need to click on this little icon with the four squares. Since I am using Pinnacle Studio Ultimate I have six tracks of cameras and two tracks of audio to use. Lower versions of Pinnacle will have fewer tracks to use for this. The first thing I need to do is place some video on each track of the cameras I wish to edit. When finished placing the videos, click on the OK button. This will bring up the multi-camera editing session window. The first thing you will need to do is sync up the various cameras so they're all running at the same time. Most people use audio where there's audio, but since these come from different motorcycles, I'm going to use the marker method. What I want to do is find a specific place in each video where I can place a marker that will sync them up. In this case, I've found a place where I turn a corner, which will be easy to mark. I select the video on which I want to place the marker, and press the marker icon to place one. Next, I find the same spot on each of the other videos, and place a marker on each of those in turn. Then I press the little circular sync icon to line all the videos up in time. Now I can do a standard multi-camera edit where I can play and select each camera in turn to select the parts of the video I want to show. Here you can see the colors between cameras are very different, but I will show you how to fix those later in the sub-editor. I start the video playing and in turn select each camera that I want to keep that particular video session. When you're finished making your selections, you can click on the black bar to place the black portion at the end of your video. At this point, most people will have you insert transitions between segments, but I'm going to show you a much easier way to do it. Simply get out and save your work. You will see your save video segment appear. Drag it down to any unused track to complete the editing process. If I go into the editor at this point and try to make color corrections, it will not let me as you can see.
But if I right click on the video, I see an option that says Open in Sub Editor. Now you can see each of the individual segments in a manner in which you can edit them in the usual way. You can see as I scrub across the videos, the color still needs to be corrected. At this point, you can very easily put in any kind of transition you would like. I'm just choosing to do a fade between each segment. It's really fast. Now I can easily correct the colors in each video segment using the editor as usual. You can see that all the color correction elements are now available to correct the colors. Now you can play your corrected video segments and see how you did. You will now see that there are fades in the video and the colors are very closely corrected to each other. To save your corrections, click the OK button at the bottom. The corrections will be made to the video on the timeline, not to the original video. You can play the video on the timeline and see that the changes were actually saved. Now I will export this video segment to save for use in a larger overall video. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps with your multi-camera editing.